The immune system possesses a tremendous killing power, which can be used to defend the human body from its own cells that become cancerous. Considering all human bodies develop cancer cells throughout the lifetime, how does the immune system provide such protection? The answer lies in two types of cells. The cells of the immune system that kill cancer cells are CD8 cytotoxic T cells and natural killer cells. First, the CD8 cytotoxic T cells will be discussed. Antigens are proteins that are expressed on the outside of the cells. In the case of a normal, healthy cell, a normal healthy antigen is presented on the outside of all nucleated cells of the body. This normal, healthy antigen is presented by a molecule known as MHC1. Cytotoxic CD8 killer T cells do not kill cells expressing the normal healthy antigen. However, as cells become cancerous, their DNA becomes mutated. This can lead to a mutated or tumor version of the antigen. T cells that have a T cell receptor that match the tumor antigen will become activated by the antigen. In order to activate T cells, dendritic cells can present a different cell's antigen on the MHC2 receptor. CD4 T helper cells can become activated by antigen presentation on MHC2 on dendritic cells. The CD4 T helper cells can then stimulate the proliferation of CD8 cytotoxic T cells. This results in an increase in the number of T cells that can kill cancer cells. When a CD8 T cell binds its receptor to the tumor antigen on the MHC1 on cancer cells, it signals the T cell to kill the cancer cell. The T cell can also kill cancer cells by directly inducing apoptosis. Apoptosis is the death program built into cells and results in the death of the cell. A cell can initiate apoptosis within itself through the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. However, Apoptosis can also be initiated by another cell binding the FAS receptor on the outside of the first cell. This is the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis. T cells present the FAS ligand which can bind the FAS receptor on cancer cells. Thus, cytotoxic T cells can induce apoptosis in cancer cells by binding their FAS ligands to the FAS receptors on cancer cells, which kills the cancer cells. However, T cells only initiate killing of cancer cells when they detect tumor antigen. It is possible that some cancer cells have DNA that is so mutated, even the MHC1 that presents the antigen cannot be properly built and no antigen presentation occurs. How is the immune system able to kill cancer cells without antigen presentation? The answer lies with natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are part of the innate or primitive branch of the immune system. This means that they are not specific to one type of antigen. And natural killer cells do not examine the antigen on MHC1. Natural killer cells have two receptors on their cell membranes, the activator receptor, or NKG2D, and a suppressor or inhibitory receptor, or KIR. When cells are under stress, such as genetic mutations that can occur in cancer cells, they produce stress proteins on the outside of their membranes. These stress proteins bind the activator receptor on natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are stimulated to kill when the proteins of a cell bind the activator receptor. However, if the inhibitory receptor is also bound, it will stop the natural killer cell from killing. In order for a natural killer cell to kill, its activator receptor must be bound, and its inhibitory receptor must not be bound. MHC1 is able to bind inhibitory receptor on natural killer cells. Thus, as a cancerous cell becomes less able to produce MHC1, this means it is less able to bind the inhibitory receptor on natural killer cells. Additionally, cancer cells are greatly under stress. This leads to a large amount of stress proteins on the outside of the membranes of cancer cells. Therefore, cancer cells decrease the amount of MHC1 that would block natural killer cells from killing. And cancer cells increase the number of stress signals that activate natural killer cells to kill. This results in increased activation of natural killer cells which proceed to kill cancer cells. Natural killer cells kill in similar ways as T cells by releasing granzyme B or expressing the FAS ligand and inducing apoptosis of the cancer cell, fail to properly produce MHC1 and not be killed by T-cells, 
This same lack of MHC1 makes cancer cells exposed to being killed by natural killer cells. How are tumors sometimes able to evade the immune system and continue to grow? Some cancer cells express the FAS ligand on the outside of their cell membranes. Thus, as T cells and natural killer cells approach the cancer cells, it is the cancer cells that bind the FAS receptors on the T cells or natural killer cells. The cancer cells can kill the immune system cells by the same means the immune system cells would have killed the cancer cells. Additionally, tumors can secrete immunosuppressive cytokines, such as interleukin-10 or IL-10, or transforming growth factor beta, TGF-beta, which can prevent the proliferation of immune cells and leave them inactivated. Lastly, tumors can produce large amounts of lactic acid, resulting in an environment too acidic for immune cells to live in. Thus, sometimes the immune system is unable to rid the body of cancer. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel.